I am Lucas Clawson, historian at Hagley Museum and Library, and this is Hagley Up Close. The next time you take a tour of the upper property and come into the office, something to point out to you is this wonderful piece of 19th century office technology, a pigeonhole cabinet. Before standardization of filing, or even things like filing cabinets, this was a way that you kept all of your papers in order. The DuPont Company used one just like this to separate out all of their correspondence from different places. If you look closely on the front, you'll see that they're labeled by city. So any of the incoming correspondence that they needed to file by city, that's where they would put it. And typically what you would do is have just a standard piece of paper, roll it, fold it in half, stick it where you put it. That's why whenever you look at a lot of old papers, you'll see that they're folded right down the middle. And that's so that they could put them in things like these pigeonhole filing systems. This was a standard piece of equipment for DuPont and a lot of businesses in the United States through the mid 19th century. They started giving these up in the 1880s and 1890s when they went to more standard filing systems like you know now, filing things more in alphabetical order or in, in different types of ways, but also filing cabinets as you know them. But the next time you come to Hagley and take a tour of our office, be sure to look at the other office technologies around, but don't miss the pigeonhole cabinet. <laughs>